Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Lamplighter's League. Since the last time, since I needed to uh, leave a little bit earlier, um, I spent uh, the skill points mainly on Eddie. He now does have hot lead and uh, barrage 3, so can uh, use barrage more and has also better armor shredding. And I started to uh, reconsider what's really important. Eddie is now running a talisman that I bought for plus 15% uh, damage because he does have armor shredding on his normal attacks, which is not too bad because if you look at it, his physical damage spiked up to 36. I'm not sure if that includes the plus 15 or not because uh, we had 4% and 4% inclusion here. But be it as it may, you know what, we can actually test it. If we change that, uh, it's 32, so it includes the 15%. Okay, cool, no problem. Uh, he's at um, 36 uh, with his damage, and that is a huge upgrade uh, to his normal damage beforehand. So that's really uh, what we've done. Um, equipped our main uh, team but since Eddie and uh, Ingrid still have a stress break really what uh, we're going to do is we're going to have the Pornima uh, Celestine uh, set up yet again um, and I wonder if we're just using a few uh, s uh, skill points to upgrade either of uh, them so for Purnima, we could either get kill shot, ranged ability, 30% hit, on miss, target is grazed, on hit, Purnima regains 1 AP. That would be really uh, good. On hitting a mark target, Pur uh, Purnima gets 1 AP. I see. Okay. So essentially, if you do have Eddie and her, that would be a nasty combination, right? Okay, then we can further upgrade that upon hitting a marked target or killing any enemy. And I think we should at least skill that. She can mark herself with the invisibility. And that would give her a bit more uh, action economy. Uh, just with that. Celestine, not yet investing in her, but I think there could be a couple of really good investments as well. My point is, if we're using the B team, and these are just two skill points, like uh, with eight skill points we can get, uh, um, with ten skill points we could get that entire tier of both of uh, them, and the same, that's not even buying the last ability of Eddie. So, I don't want to spread out too thin, but that's the idea for now. Now, Marteau is doing a huge attack uh, this round. You can see just he would get another breakpoint and so on and so forth. We could go and do his tower for Serenic uh, Steel, but uh, that I think will uh, still leave him almost halfway filled up. The other option that we could do is we could reset him to his last breakpoint. That would be good, but that's a difficult mission as well. However, we're getting a lot of skill points out of it, and I think I want to give it a try. So, we're taking the same uh, team as the last time. You can see uh, we're still requiring a few more consumables, but I hope that we're going to find them uh, during our mission. Anna Sophie, very nicely kitted out. The other two, yeah, so and so. Celestine. I think could be even more effective. Last time we saw with her Mesmerize just how effective she can be, but she could be even more effective if we uh, find a better way of managing her overall stress and if we find some better way of uh, letting her reset her abilities. So getting more skills into her skill tree will be paramount if we want to use her more in the future. And it'll be no problem. Evil works, meet evil ends. I'll make sure of it. Okay, another crossroad adventure. Let's hope that our team composition is up for the task. Oh wow. 
fiery guys. We can't really kill either of them with one of Better our special abilities. <sighs> Come on. Really? Five? Okay, I somewhat need to weasel my way through here. Because these are not sucker punchable. Nor can we really kill them. We will need to fight them. Alright. Move in. Damn it. More enemies. This should cause some trouble. This should buy you some time. Watch my back. Well, they are definitely engaged now. All we need to do is get this guy down. But we can't do that uh, when he's surrounded by others. Can't kill them. Not sucker punchable. Okay, so let's position ourselves however we see fit. I think this here is not a bad position. Let's see if we can get them together at, in one location. Okay, that was close. I want them to cluster up, so if you can please move to the others, that would be fantastic. Luckily, we do have two invisible characters so they just need to stand still so what I want to do is get the attention of these guys Closer, just a tiny bit closer, please. Cluster up. Okay, that I think should be good enough as a start. Quadruple hit. Here we go. All of them are moving in. One we and one. Righteousness on our side. There you go. Motivate. Not using the Herald yet because I think they will knock us down. But I am going to use the monument. 
for even more stress damage. Take over this guy. Forget your fears for now. That was a free takeover. Then the monument. Make peace with your gods, if they will have you. More stress, I like it. Good, there is the dazing I was waiting for, which we Let can now that. undaze. For free. Thanks to the cleanse. This guy is almost at the breaking point. Torment awaits you. And this guy is almost at the breaking point as well. Let's mark all of them. Cool. If I shoot through here. That'll hit two. Well, you know what? This guy here. Forgive me. Immediately stress breaks. Which is perfect. Next turn we can kill him, regain mesmerize, so we're good. Kill shot, gains an AP back. I'm wondering, should I use the ultimate? Can't really reach all of uh, them yet. I think we're just so, going to deal damage to uh, for I now. Really do. Sometime. Very nice hit. Oh, he can even reach us. That was unexpected. What wasn't unexpected is that we're putting everything, and literally everything, on fire. True my eye, true my mind. Look at you, Swarder. Good, how about we're regaining... Hmm, wait a second, before we do anything. Bless barely just doesn't reach her. Your mind is mine to command. We're taking over this guy, healing ourselves in return. We have enough, uh, we do. If someone could make sure, yeah. Okay, so the idea is we can hit him, 
get her, get ready to kill him. He will retaliate with the knockdown and we can reset or reduce our cooldowns and then finish him. He will explode here, hopefully hitting all of uh, these things. Okay. There we go. Hit. If you have peace to make, make it now. You know what? Uh, I'll just kill him for free. A coin for your passage. Regain uh, my mesmerize ability. We're moving to here. Reduce one of these things. Fantastic. Because what we need on Celeste is cooldowns. I was hoping we could hit two of you guys. No? How about this? No, we can't fully hit all of them. This here would put him in distress. I think that's still worth it. I see you. Good, that's our next target for a kill. We're reducing cooldowns, fantastic. Then burning and other things are cleansed. And then we're just resetting her way. cooldowns completely for more stress damage. I think this is a bit of a weak play. Why isn't he moving to attack any of his friends? Okay, now he's moving in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Release your will. Now it is not. getting this guy mesmerized. Right. Well, don't see that every day, do we? Good. Both of you gain Don't stop now. extra uh, 1 AP. Fantastic. You need new gods. More stress. Significantly more stress. Good chance of breaking him, which we just did, which then means kill. The training pays off. We need to remove these beacons soon, very soon. We got this guy still as a potential kill target. One down. Two down. Good. Unfortunately, we would be right in the explosion zone. Can't let that happen. So we're moving over here. Snapshot there to get it uh, down. 
And then I think we need to reload. Okay, wait. Uh, don't want to take fire damage, so might as well put out burning. Okay, some of us might die. Two more rounds remaining, and we need to deal with these guys. Let's start with again mesmerizing him. Oh, we haven't killed him, so we can't just leave him. Oh, I see. That's unfortunate. I does have the coin. That is very unfortunate. Reloading. Free reload. We now need to deal with uh, this here. Listen, we're cursing you. I am every horror made real. And just as you taught me, we're increasing the stress. We will need to... Uh, will we need to finish him? Sort of, yeah. Let your mind Take him over back. so that he fights against Listen these guys. And we're moving uh, back. That will be one explosion, unfortunately. Good, healing ourselves, or rather cleansing ourselves is the correct uh, word. I think they're still a bit too far away, so this round will be more about regaining um, our cooldowns and then overwatching moves, I'll put them down. same thing here And we can curse him. Your mind is no match for my own. Plus then go into evasion. Did I really just F that up? No. Get 
It is ashes. Then it is time to go. Good. I was about to say that would have been really, really uncomfortable messing this up. Good, we're just going to stay here and I'm slightly moving over there. Okay, cool. Stress. Keep going. We can beat them. Um. I like the idea of hitting him hard. Feel a thing. So he's now marked. That moves him away. Yes. Nice that little hit. Soon. Oh, very good. We don't want to create our own stress. What I would want to do is uh, apply more stress to him, but unfortunately that doesn't work. Evading. And let's hit him. I will cut out your heart. Wonderful how we can make it out of this. the evasion doesn't even we... help against the knockdown. Good, we're reloading. That gives us better cooldowns and we can tank him for one round. That's fine. A blow straight and true. He's now fully stressed. When the shadows deepen, so too the light. Good. I just want my cooldown uh, for the ultimate back. And remove fire. <clears throat> Thank you. So the team worked very, very well. Good. That's sorted. Come on, chaps. The team worked very, very well. So no major stress. So we don't need the remedies yet. A last thing. Got a brass key. Good. I don't want to use our ultimate yet, but we need to be ultra careful because we're super low on hit points. Ah, that's the perfect. That is the perfect find for us. Thank the mother. They say a doctor should empathize with their patients. This is ridiculous. Fantastic. Now we're back in action. Vigor tonic. That's even better. That is... 
giving us an option to regain a charge on our ultimate. And I know who is going to take all of the stress remedies because guess what? Everything Celestina is the master in gaining stress. And we haven't really used her occult gamble a lot in the last fight. And if we do have a reliable way of reducing stress, then well, it's not too bad. Good. All we need to do is escape now. A little bit of extra if we defeat the Scion. But it's not needed. Careful here, don't Looking want to be good, boxed in. Soldier. You like your gas masks? You can thank Marto Industries for them. And hey, you're welcome. Okay, if we fight him, then we fight him all alone up here. Okay, we still have a lot of ambushes left over. So these guys here we could kill. That's a difficult ask. What do we have back here? Another key bearer. I think we will need to engage that fast so that we're only here with three of us. Oh, we can even kill them. Ah, my bad. Didn't know that. I did not know that. Stress. And we're doing a bit of a gambit. Cursing this guy. One, two, extra. We can do it. Cleansing and buffing. And then we're resetting cooler uh, cooldowns, which means we can do that again. You need new gods. Interesting. Uh, the guy hit us when his stress broke, but that's okay. Look, Still we can take you over. We're healing ourselves. We're then killing you, regaining our uh, mesmerize ability. Since you mesmerized. You can't even fight back. Why are we taking damage, by the way? Ha! Did you see that? You're well suited to this fight. Here. Oh boy. Know what we're going to do? Just top everyone up. Give me a moment, and I'll be back in the fray. I can use this. Good. Got the iron key. Another card. Got a mode of fate. Got a stress remedy. Come 
Come out, come out, my friends. This here wouldn't be the worst place to fight him. Not sure if we care, could deal with all of his extra turrets and so on. Someone like Eddie would be much better Someone suited. Is sneaking about. Alright, once he moves back, we can get his attention. Curious? Something's not right. Come, witness my genius up close. Alright, show me your genius. Let's see how you fare against this. I think we're going to fare quite well against this. At least it's my initial impression. I might be wrong. He has a lot of stress. Well, we're going to see how well we're going to do um, against him. I think we're just taking an easy first round. Let's gamble. Come with me. I am ready. Very good. Your weakness is obvious. And his defenses are lowered. Kill shot on a marked target. Big fat stress. Removing some of the other pillars. Let me help. You can help us with this. Good, more damage. Just removing or trying to remove most of his stuff. More speed, and I think this dazes him. Cannot be mesmerized, but he can be dazed, and we're healing ourselves, and then we're evading. I don't think that we can realistically get him A all the way one. down. Um, with uh, stress only, oh, this is not. Oh, it's not happening. Keep up the fight. Everybody resets their cooldowns. We're resetting our cooldowns. Fantastic.
Okay, but we're not going to engage with him yet. Dread. Continuing to curse him. No, we just build up stress. It's unfortunate. The waifu for more damage. 40% extra. One extra AP. Marking and uh, then we got kill shot because that had been this is just a temporary refreshed. Setback. Absolute legend I am. And we're reloading. Okay. Okay. Wow, someone is we having a really bad time in the background. Side. Granting motivate. Together now. Granting cleanse. And can we reduce our own cooldowns? Yes, we can. Double reduction. Not sure where this guy went to, but he will come back. Curing our stress. There you go. Speed and we're evading. Toe's most trusted agents, scouts, and assassins, with a hard-earned knowledge of the other side. Interesting. Wow, he healed back. All of the damage that we dealt to him, he just healed that back up. Good cooldowns, fantastic. That's good. We can make it out of this. I know we can. The gambit uh, paid off. Moves up. Who knows, maybe we can really stress him out so much that he at some point will break. Good, we're <clears throat> taking solid cover. Let me 
show you how these work. I'm not even trying. Last I checked, killing a scion wasn't part of the mission. Wow. All right, Overwatch does nothing here. What exactly is Void touched? There is a bit of a curse on you. <clears throat> then... I would like to gamble. More AP for everyone. Oh, barely out of range. You know, we can fix that though. Moving just out. You aren't done yet. All of the cooldowns are back. <clears throat> he takes 40% more damage. We move to here, so that we're not standing in the open. I need AP now. All of these guys are marked. Ooh, right in the soft bits. He takes more stress. You're making it too easy for me. Simply perfect. Not sure what the link levels are doing, <clears throat> but we gotta make sure we're not taking too much damage. Divine Mother, grant me your healing miracle. Good, more AP, self heal, and we good. Take you over. <clears throat> and that means no more overwatch on us. Fantastic. When the shadows deepen, so too the light. More gambit. Oh, we're doing well. Almost well.
You need new gods. More stress. There you go. This man is not well. Not well at all. Good, free kill. Regain our mesmeri uh, mesmerize ability. Well, we killed the Scion, and I must say, relatively speaking, wasn't that difficult. Good work, chaps. Shall we crack on? Right to it. Good. I wasn't expecting that we would go all the way. and effectively kill this guy but we did hey to do it but i think anna just in order to be efficient uh, that's worth Sometimes 30 supplies i don't want to risk anything here Are you ready? Good, but it also means we are very much out of any form of combat abilities. Into the old pocket with you. Listen, what we could do is stay here. This will serve. Give my regards to the ferryman. Ether and a medical kit. I've seen the sisters do wonders with this. Well, can't say we haven't tried, right? Stress onto everybody. Fantastic. We're going to pick you because you are easily manipulated. Cool Gambit unfortunately doesn't pay out uh, this time. I am every horror made real. Let me help. Cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Very good. I just want to motivate my two allies. We, why can I motivate everyone? Okay, much better, okay.
and what would we do, right? Even if it kills me, especially if it kills Let's see if this re oh. uh, resets as well. When cooldowns reset, that would be awesome. Contact spotted. Good, marked. And we're ready. So now, reset cooldowns. Uh, it is reset, but we can't use it immediately again, uh, which I think is fair. Ooh, good hit. I like it. But we're not done yet. Celestine can't gamble more. Uh, I wanted to break this guy, which I think we can if we do this. Hmm. I should really charge more for this. More stress. Oh, barely even looked that time. All right, stress broke. More stress, more stress. I think we're okay. That, on the other hand, hurts a lot. the wrong one no <laughs> oh how could I come with me I am ready unbelievable it's always harder when the patient is me This battle is ours to win. This war is ours to win. Yeah, needed to use uh, cooldowns. Unfortunate. Right between the third and fourth thoracic. You see? Did that sky break? No. Good. Mesmerized. We're killing this guy it for free. Repetition. Yield Regaining reward. our signature charge.
my favorite little party trick, this. Your skill borders on the supernatural. This guy breaks. Very good. Free cooldown reduction. You and you get an extra. You know do. do it. Your More damage for you. Obvious. And I want big fat crits and stress reduction. and quiet good yeah I messed up in the middle of it whilst finishing that stress guy with the wrong agent that was ridiculously bad but okay whatever we're in look sharp Anna Sophie, second wind. This We're getting a nice little stress flask. Into their hearts. This should tip the odds in our favor. Okay, we got some nice items in return. So that fight was very much worth it. Refilled our consumables. This will be of use. The door is open. Hurry. I can use this. Ah, they do have ghosts. I very much do not approve of, of that. Ghosts are quite strong. Can't get up here. It's a dead end. Dead end here as well. But we can sneak by, right? So, if we're just running, what would happen? How far would we get? Uh, Punima is not that fast, but has a self-buff. 
which we need so, to use anyways. You want to see what I can really do? Might be far enough. Let's give it a try. Cornima gets the sa uh, Satar. Rushes further. And we can get all the way up to here. We can make it out of this. I know we can. Good moves to here. Let's take that spectre. We're regaining an action. And we're moving into cover. At which point everybody is almost out. Didn't deal any damage. Okay, well, they are just making it easier for us to escape. Another link in the court's chain. Whew. Broken. I am surprised. The difficulty of the missions effectively begins to uh, increase. Typically in the end game, it's the other way around, but maybe I'm just too used to XCOM 2. So we got three cards here, the Tyrant, plus two stress, and when attack, their attacker suffers one stress. Um, well, the monument is too good uh, to leave that. The Satar has helped us. Debuff ability, target enemies next attack will miss. Well, that's not bad either. Hmm. I don't know. The rogue isn't really. I'm re uh, is really the uh, greatest card. This here might be interesting. The agent has max stress, which is helpful. And when attacked, their attacker suffers one stress. Hmm. Question is, is that be better than the satire?
Hmm. Target enemy's next attack will miss isn't bad either. Arguably better than the archer because we're oftentimes dealing critical damage already. So let's put that here. Combat like healing is an art. And I'm a quick study. Monument too good to replace. Satire not bad, but can't be used for herself. I would immediately love to shift that over because then we would have a fantastic ability on Anna. Two teammates, uh, teammates receive two speed. Well, that's also great as an upgrade. I think we're nonetheless... I mean, we need this, right? Because the wave uh, is too good. That, by the way, would also be something that I immediately would uh, put instead of the piper. But sure. Since we deal fully with stress and stress only, that's exactly wounds. what we would want to get. Your digging paid off, I see. Now this we can act on. Very good. Get another uh, key to the tower mission. We'll put this to use. Okay. Marteau did so much progress. And then we're resetting him to his last breakpoint. So that was a very, very good. We looking good out there, champ. Need a few healing elixirs. Mainly because that's a very efficient way of ranged healing. Thunderbomb isn't bad either. But I would argue, might just remove it. And we can put it onto another agent for now. Good, one more uh, week uh, without Ingrid and Eddie. But our new team isn't bad either. We're making reasonable progress. So since we are at the agents, we do have skill points to spend. Eddie is looking for some more skill points and I think we're going to give him knock him down. Kills against marked enemies reset uh, the cooldown for light him up which is super helpful. Good and the remaining two points is there anything that would make Celest uh, Celestine immediately better? Attacks a poison enemy, she heals stress. Ah, that's not bad. Range poisoning. Extra crit chance isn't bad either. I think the ranged poison is uh, could be good. On using the reload ability, we get inspired. That is not helpful. So this here is helpful to reduce stress. And this here would be super helpful simply because uh, she would then gain extra, uh, extra AP up to two times.
has 50% ch chance to heal stress when using a debuff ability. That's not bad either. Okay, Whispering Knife, and there is a reset for Whispering Knife. And then it becomes stays damage, uh, deals additional damage per point of stress on the target. That's well, not bad either. I think the Whispering Knife and uh, the Satisfaction together are really good. It's a really good combination. But we do not... We do not have a good way or reliable way of poisoning yet, so the satisfaction wouldn't be great either. Am I saving the two sp uh, skill points? We're not going to see a huge massive <clears throat> increase from the get-go. Other than giving Celestine a, another range ability. So that itself could be worth um, worth it. Yeah, let's do that. Got a ranged ability, which is something that she currently does not have at all. Good. In terms of all of our suppliers, we already what are we working on today? have everything. We just need King Ether, which isn't happening at the moment. I think we want more supplies at this point because either we already have a lot. And now it's a question of how do we want to go about Nicastro and Co. Marteau, not the biggest target at the moment because he's not at a break point, right? Go take out Strum here. What is this? We need four fragments to go into the tower. Serenic Steel. Skirmish Talisman. And for killing him we're getting a weapon talisman. Hmm. Alternatively, we could try to uh, do the heist. I'm just concerned about Nicastro continuing to make progress like non-stop. Maybe we just need to do this here for now. Except that Strum will go through. But this will reduce Nicastro net by one. And we'll also kill her so it will reduce her uh, progress speed. So we're doing Nicastro next. And then I think we're just going to do the Marteau Tower. Strum will make bit progress, but it is what it is. You can't do everything. The Castro's nectar is in hand. We do now have keystones uh, to take. And Marteau's Persephone. This year would cross that one out, and then we need to locate the red sulfur, which is this is the preparation, and then we got a similar mission here. But I would want to do this first because that'll give us ceramic steel. If my memory serves me well, Eddie is ready for a weapon upgrade and that would push his damage north of the 40s. Good, that's happening uh, in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy Lamplighter Sneak, I can only request kindly to leave a comment and a like down below and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.